Ooh, Michael Bay is back, baby! Will Sharp is a decorated veteran who's desperate to cover his wife's medical bills. He asks help from his adoptive brother Danny, a charismatic career criminal that instead of a job, offers Will a score. The biggest bank heist in Los Angeles, 32 million. But before I properly start with my review for Michael Bay's Ambulance, I want you to start the conversation in the comments below. What is your favorite Michael Bay movie? What is your favorite heist film? And what is your favorite action film overall? And of course, if you love movies and TV, this is the place to be. So consider clicking that subscribe button so you don't miss any future conversation on your favorite movies and TV. And if you're going to a Michael Bay movie, you know what you're going in for. You're not going for high art. You're not going for auteur cinema. You're going for high octane action. You're going for adrenaline. You're going for explosions. You're going for the Bayham, baby. But as someone who is a fan of Michael Bay, when he is hitting on all cylinders, I myself realize that there's two versions of Michael Bay. There's Armageddon Michael Bay, The Rock Michael Bay, or there's Transformers 4 and 5 Michael Bay, there's Six Underground Michael Bay. This is the former. Ambulance is a blast. This is absolutely the kind of Bayhem that I love. It has all the Bayhisms that I love. It has ordinary people doing extraordinary things in extraordinary situations. The gist of the film that runs for like 2 hours and 20 minutes by the way, it's a mix of speed and heat and I loved every second of it. I was eating it up. I had the stupidest grin on my face. I was munching popcorn all the way. I was even Chad laughing at points throughout the film. Everything this film gave me, I ate it up. I needed a cheat meal and that's what I got from this and it was glorious if I'm honest. That's how sick this film is. It's just a cool movie. Obviously as any Michael Bay production, this is very handsomely put together. You got an incredible cast, not like A-listers, but even apart from our leads that include Isaac Gonzalez, we have Jake Gyllenhaal, we have Yaya Abdul-Mateen II, we have a ton of other actors that you'll recognize at least the faces of, because that's just what a Michael Bay production does. You have a ton of drone shots that are, are not there to give anything to the story, but they're just really cool and they show you that this production has a ton of money behind it and whenever you get the glorious Bayham on screen you just know with this guy that it's all real all the explosions were done there on set with the actors with the stuntmen with the crew and the film kind of works as a grand odyssey of Los Angeles the film bare bones is a grand chase sequence through the highs and lows of what Los Angeles is as a city. And I think if you're from LA, it's kind of a, of a celebration per se of LA as a city, how much you can go around for an entire day <laughs> after these criminals. But look, as I said, this is just pure adrenaline. There's not anything else in this film besides action. There is some compelling premise regarding the characters, but the film doesn't pull it off rather well. It does it competently enough. It puts these characters in situations where you understand the conflict and you can somewhat feel for their conflict. It puts them in this interesting morally gray area that kind of makes you question who you root for. There are certain decisions that the characters make along the way that are interesting on a narrative level, but the film does not explore that any deeper, if I'm honest with you. My biggest problem with Ambulance really is, apart from those nitpicks, and again, it's a Michael Bay movie, you can nitpick the shit out of it. For me, it's just really that they stretch the third act really thin, like, Stuff is concluded. We've gotten all the characters where they need to be. And then the film just keeps going for like 
10 more minutes and we didn't need that like even at points you have michael bay trying to be subtle but then he keeps going until it's not subtle there's just a ton of michael bay tropes to love in this film from the action to the charismatic actors playing these characters that they give life to the film can actually be quite funny which is a surprise given it's a Michael Bay movie, the man is just not funny, okay? But you can tell when Michael Bay is all in. And this is one of those films where he's clearly all in. His passion is felt through the screen. There's even points where characters are talking about a Michael Bay movie that exists in this universe, and it works. So Michael Bay kind of did a meta thing in a way that only Michael Bay could do it. You can nitpick this film to high heaven, but Heat and Speed had a baby. That baby jacks up on steroids and cocaine daily. And that baby is Michael Bay's ambulance. It's raw, unhinged adrenaline. It's the purest form of Bayhem, and it includes all the Bayhisms. I don't know what you do with that, but to me, this was dope. I'm giving Ambulance a B+. But those are only my thoughts on Michael Bay's Ambulance. I want to know what you thought about it in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much to my channel members, Bruna and Stuart, for making this video possible. And there's a ton of reviews right now up on the channel, and a ton more reviews to come, including for Sonic the Hedgehog, The Lost City, I have seen Morbius, I have seen the first four episodes of Moon Knight, we got a packed week, so I hope to see you there, I hope to see you on the videos right now on the channel, and until the next one, love each other, and love the movies.